So a lot of you mentioned that you wanted to see my planner video. So hey folks, my name's Allie, it's Vlogmas Day 11, and let's get started. So it's actually morning time and I'm filming early for once, so that's why the lighting's a little bit different. I'm sitting right beside the window. So natural light <laughs> makes me look nice, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I mentioned that I plan, I've been planning for about, this will be my third year coming up in 2018. So I've been planning for two years. Um, I will start my third planner in January. And I really got started because, I don't know, I think I was watching some vlogger on YouTube and she was talking about her planner and then I got into watching all these planning videos. And, you know, they did like the stickers and like they had like these really pretty pink planners and I'll be honest, mine is not, <laughs> it's not anything special. Um, mine's utility based. Um, it's pragmatic. I use it every day just to get me through the day, through the week. Um, and I just, I'm not one of those people that likes to sit down and make it a hobby. Like I understand if that's your hobby, that's great. Everybody needs a hobby. Um, Making YouTube videos is my hobby, <laughs> and it keeps me sane. So I definitely understand if you like doing that. I think that they're really pretty um, when people do do them and show them online. So those are always fun. But this is just, you know, how I get through my week. I really do like planning everything out. And it's nicer for me to not have it like on a phone calendar or like a Google calendar. Because I like to be able to look at the pages and see what's coming up and what's just passed. And like, I don't know, for me it's nice to see it all you know, on a spread of two pages for the week. And um, so, yeah, here we go. Here's my planner video. <laughs> I want to talk about the size and utility of this planner. So this is a big planner. It's like, you know, the size of a sheet of paper, a little bit bigger, obviously. Um, but it's not one of those, you know, normally sized planners. And even though I want one that would fit in my purse, um, this is just way more useful for me. <laughs> I like to be able to put like whole sheets of paper in here without having to bend them. And cause I keep like, um, some documents like, um, tag stuff and you know, just like pieces of mail or like instructions or directions or anything that I need that's on a sheet of paper. I want to be able to put it in here and not have to fold it in case it's something that I don't want to fold. Okay. So I don't know. It's more of a utility thing for me. It's not a hobby. It's something that I, I mean, it is sort of a hobby because sometimes, you know, if the muscle and I go out and do lots of stuff on a Saturday, I'll write it down and I'll be sure to track it. Um, and you'll see how I do that. But, um, so in a way it's sort of like a diary, but it's more useful. It keeps me on track. Um, it helps me plan my life and make sure that I'm getting things done, like paying bills and <laughs> um, going grocery shopping and just kind of, it gives me a visual representation of the things that I need to do so that I don't just forget about them. I'd be like, oh, I had to pay that bill yesterday or, oh, I was supposed to go and pick up, you know, this gift for somebody or, oh, I've got this wedding that I totally forgot about. So it's kind of nice just to have that there to look at. Um, on two sets of paper, you know, for the whole week and just to be able to like, you know, get ready for my week. So that's why I like having this big old thing. And I really do take it everywhere with me. I take it to work every day. Even if I don't open it every day, I open it, well, I open it practically every day. If not every day, then every other day. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I actually already shot this, um, but I realized because this is real life and this is my actual planner that when I reviewed it um, on the big screen right before uploading that there was lots of personal information and work information that I didn't want to include. So I'm reshooting it and that's why the lighting's a little bit more um, yellow because it's nighttime now. So, okay, so the first thing is this is the inside of the planner, obviously. So um, I said like I like it because it zips and it keeps all these documents secure so I can just take it everywhere. So like I said, I do have like full sheets of paper that I don't want to fold. I mean, I could fold them. I just, I don't know. I want to be able to put a full sheet of paper in here without having to fold it. So um, I just have like an envelope and I also keep in here <laughs> some spare, um, what do you call them, scale, digital scale batteries. Because one time uh, my battery ran out for my digital scale and I couldn't log my food for a couple days. So I just always keep extras in there with me wherever I go. And both my scales use the same battery. So it's like the C32 battery or whatever. So um, I have here just some post-it notes. This is like the card holder, but I don't really use business cards or anything. Oops. So 
and just some small post-its and then these I really like because they're lined and I make lots of lists whether it be groceries um, if I'm on the go and just thinking about maybe like um, I did my grocery Christmas list on here if you noticed in my grocery um, Christmas grocery video so yeah I like this make lists like to-do lists and things that I can just take instead of taking the whole planner and I also like stick these throughout my planner just um, to help remind me about things so I do have two pens in here I have this red one and the red one I use to um, like circle overtime for work so that when I go back and I, I like at the end of you know a couple months I have to fill in some overtime sheets once I see the red I say oh there's my overtime so then I log it on the uh, my worksheet so that's pretty much what I use the red for and then I keep this blue pen over here in like the actual pen holder and this pen I really like I got it from Dollar Tree because you guys know I'm frugal it's like an Optimus it's a felt tip pen and it came in a package of two for a dollar and ever since I've been using this for my planner for the last two years I bought like four packages I have like two unopened packages I'm on my second I think so yeah it lasts really long it doesn't bleed through the paper um, so yeah I really like this pen so I have the two pens this is what I write all of my planning stuff with and then I circle my overtime hours in red and then I have this large paper clip to um, just make sure I can flip exactly to the page that I want so like I said I, um, I had to reshoot this because I couldn't really tell I was kind of rushing the video at first and I saw some personal information in there that I didn't want to share. So um, you won't be able to see any like the the red pen or like very many post-its because I found a page that didn't have too much personal information. So as you open to like the first like name page where you can write your name and information, um, uh, this is just kind of like where I put notes and things, and I took some off because they were more personal. Here I had some summer goals um, like my YouTube channel and finishing my book, and I wrote those in the planner later on which you'll see and then I have like this little saying I thought of if it ain't in the planner it ain't gonna matter so I thought that was funny and then also too this is just like a quick note that I wrote down um, somebody I overheard somebody say it and it's a quote that they said and it says on a scale of one to ten you're a nine and I'm the one you need <laughs> and I just thought that that was so clever I don't know if they made it up I didn't make it up I wish I had because that's funny but so on a scale of one to ten girl you're a nine and I'm the one you need so anyway that's the like the first page of the planner so here we go so this is um, what um, the week of planning was like over the summer and um, usually I plan like mostly in the bottom um, but I was off of work for this week so um, there's more planning throughout the day usually I'll just have like a lunch plan during my lunch for work but and then the rest of it will be on the bottom because that's when I am out of work um, so yeah this is kind of how it looks my handwriting is horrible okay and I am that person that likes to mix cursive with non-cursive so like the nothing here do nothing because I did nothing that day um, like the DO are not cursive but then once you get to the NOTH it's cursive and then the ING is not so I have horrible handwriting <laughs> Sorry, um, the kids in school would always ask to see my notes, and I was like, well, good luck. You can read them. You get to copy them. And then, so, yeah, this was just, like, a week that we spent um, on vacation, and um, so, yeah, it was really nice. And so I just kind of wrote down, like I said, this is kind of like a, a diary for me, so I can, like, look back, you know, and be like, oh, in June of 2017, we went on this vacation, and this is all the stuff that we did. So it's not like, you know, writing out sentences of a diary. It's like, oh, this is exactly what I did that day, and I like doing that. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. And I kind of, um, I saved these. I have, uh, this will be my second one. So I already have one on the bookshelf at my mom's house next to all my high school yearbooks. And just and I kind of save them like a diary so I can look back one day. Now, let's see. If you notice here, I do have like some of these words in quotes. And the quoted things are um, movies that the muscle and I have watched, or just what I watch. Um, I used to keep like lists on scraps of paper and in my phone, and now I just write them in my planner. So I guess I figure if I ever watched a movie and I'm thinking of a scene but I can't think of the movie, at least I have a list of names of movies that I can look at and try and figure out what I was watching. But yeah, so this is just how I plan. I just write in my things in my blue pen with my bad handwriting, and that's how it goes. 
And so if you remember, I said um, here on like the month page, I have like this list of these lines for notes. Um, so this is kind of where I do like my big plans for, this was just kind of over the summer. Um, so over the summer, I wanted to visit my grandma who lives kind of far away. She's getting older. And so I didn't know if I was going to be able to go visit her. Um, but I ended up going. And then I wanted to finish my book. Oh my goodness. So I'm... Uh, Ever since about 2012, I've been writing this fantasy book, and I basically finished it, but I never got to the rewriting stage. Um, it never ended. It was long. I've had probably 320 pages typed, double space, but I never actually went through with it. So I wanted to finish it, but I didn't. I did, however, start my YouTube channel. Woo -woo. I wanted to join a club, and the closest thing that I got to a club was going to these wreath-making classes at the, the Michael's Craft Store. Um, and I wanted to join a club just because, I don't know, I wanted to meet people. I moved back down south, and I just, I need some gal pals. So that was my plan. And I met a couple people, but it's not like we exchanged numbers, and then I never saw them again. So I don't know. I just, I'm still kind of working on that one. And then I wanted to go to our farmer's market um, that we have here. So like I said, that's my planner, and it's more practical for me. Um, I take it to work. I use it for work and my personal life, and just... I don't know, it keeps me on track with everything. And I really like it, and it zips, and um, it's really durable. I think I spent, um, maybe it was 25 to $30 for the inside, or the, the outside binder, and it came with its own um, inside uh, planner for the first year. And then just the replacement planners, the one I just bought was $15, so yeah, so that's my planner. Well, folks, um, I know that that was probably the most boring planner video that you've ever seen in your whole life because it's not very pretty and my handwriting is atrocious and I'm kind of sloppy with it, but it works for me. It's my system and it keeps me on track. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I saw lots of comments saying, yes, do a planner video. And I tried to warn you guys yesterday at the end of my rant that it's going to be a little bit of a different type of planner video. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to find me on Instagram, my name is keto underscore Allie. Again, thanks for watching. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, it's Allie again. So a couple things. First, I am going to a New Year's Eve party and it's like a 50s theme and I want to do like a Grace Kelly thing and look really pretty and sophisticated because I don't have like a poodle skirt or anything. So let me know what you think. 50s theme, what kind of outfits if you want to like link to photos, I'll click on those and look through. I need some help because um, my wardrobe, I don't have anything like super duper fancy. I have like wrap dresses. Did she wear wrap dresses? I don't know. I'm going to have to go on Pinterest and look. Second thing, tomorrow is Christmas, which means I will film Christmas because I'm kind of behind on Vlogmas. Um, I had some issues with my editing software, so that got me a day behind. So I'm going to film on Christmas. This Christmas Eve should have been my last day, but oh well. So, but that's more fun anyway. So, but I won't probably edit um, tomorrow, so I'll get it posted the day after Christmas. But I'm going to show you, um, <clears throat> like, you know, what I'm planning. I've already kind of shown you my groceries, but how it all turns out and kind of how I cook maybe a little bit and like just kind of maybe go through Christmas Day with me and see what it's like. So that's the plan. Again, let me know about Grace Kelly outfits because I need some help. So yeah, I will see you guys not tomorrow, but on Monday. So Merry Christmas. Y'all be safe and have a good one. Bye.